they got almost no attention. But in May, CNN reported that Senators Robert Menendez, Richard Durbin, and Patrick Leahy wrote a letter to Ukraine's Prosecutor General expressing concern at the closing of four investigations they said were uh, critical. In the letter, they implied that their support for U.S. assistance to Ukraine was at stake, and that if they didn't do the right thing, they wouldn't get any assistance. Gee, doesn't that sound familiar? Doesn't that sound familiar? This little announcement to you because important, uh, you know, the so-called whistleblower, the one that didn't have any first class or first rate or uh, second tier information from what I understand. You'll have to figure that out for yourself. Uh, but I've spoken with leader Kevin McCarthy and the Republicans, many of them, and we were going to do this anyway, but I've informed them, all of the House members, that I fully support transparency on the so-called whistleblower information, even though it was supposedly secondhand information, which is sort of interesting. Um, and other things have come out about the whistleblower that are also maybe even more interesting but also insist on transparency from Joe Biden and his son, Hunter, on the millions of dollars that have been quickly and easily taken out of Ukraine and China. Millions of dollars, millions and millions of dollars taken out very rapidly while he was vice president. And I think they should have transparency for that. I've informed the leader about that. And uh, additionally, I demand transparency from Democrats who went to Ukraine and attempted to force the new president, who I met and is an outstanding person, who just met a little while ago. Some of you were there. I think he's going to be outstanding. He got elected on the basis of corruption. He wants to end corruption in Ukraine, and I think that's great. But they went there, and they wanted to force the new president to do things that they wanted under the form of political threat. They threatened him if he didn't do things. Now, that's what they're accusing me of, but I didn't do it. I didn't threaten anybody. In fact, the press was asking questions of the president of Ukraine, and he said, no pressure. I used the word pressure. I think he used the word push, but he meant pressure, but it's the same thing. No push, no pressure, no nothing. It's all a hoax, hoax. It's all a big hoax. And the sad thing about this hoax is that we work so hard with all of these countries, and I mean, really hard. This has been, I've been up from early in the morning to late in the evening, and meeting with different countries, all for the good of our country, and the press doesn't even cover all of this. And it's disappear. it's really disappointing also to those countries that are with us and spend so much time with us. So we want transparency, we've informed Kevin McCarthy about transparency, and we said vote for it. So I think you'll have close to 100 percent of the Republican votes, I hope. And they got almost no attention. But in May, CNN reported that Senators Robert Menendez, Richard Durbin, and Patrick Leahy wrote a letter to Ukraine's prosecutor general expressing concern at the closing of four investigations they said were uh, critical. In the letter, they implied that their support for U.S. assistance to Ukraine was at stake, and that if they didn't do the right thing, they wouldn't get any assistance. Gee, doesn't that sound familiar? Doesn't that sound familiar? And Chris Murphy, who I've been dealing with on guns, you know, so nice. He's always, oh, no, we want to work it out. We want to work it out. But they're too busy wasting their time on, on the witch hunt. So Senator Chris Murphy literally threatened the president of Ukraine that if he doesn't do things right, they won't have Democrat support in Congress. So you're going to look all of this up. One other thing, I'm just going off certain uh, notes and uh, elements of what we've been doing over the last three days, but this just came up a few minutes ago. The 